This is a little treadmill that I bought. Uh, found this on Castanet. Um, it's a really good little treadmill. I uh, found it for 50 bucks, believe it or not. And it works. As you can tell, I can get this thing going and I actually am walking like crazy. Um, but this is not what I'm going to be using it for. Believe it, whoops, believe it or not, um, I'm going to be using this for my drill press. I'm going to change this configuration here from belts to basically one belt and just two pulleys. And the motors on the back side of these um, treadmills are uh, very powerful. And that one is very powerful and uh, I'm going to uh, put it in here and then I'm going to put the controls on this. Um, I'm going to butcherize the controls a little bit or Frankenstein them if you like and I might put them on there, the dial at the front there, just so I can control the speed of this thing without changing the belts all the time. So we'll, uh, we'll let you know how that goes. Here are some uh, schematic pictures that I've taken of the components uh, just before I unplugged everything, just to make sure that uh, I knew exactly where the wires went and what they went back to. Okay, so here is it all disassembled, and I've got it uh, temporarily plugged in and raring rare to go, and I'll just show you the, the speed thing here. I'm going to see if I can get this to go here for you. Sounds very, very fast. And it's at max speed, so the dial is actually really good. I kept the fan on there so that it would cool the motor. And everything works beautifully. Here's a couple of uh, pictures of the components installed. A little bit rough right now but they will be completely installed and completely encased and safe okay so this is my final setup of my uh, digital speed control for my uh, drill press um, as you can see that motor is actually a pretty substantial motor I ended up uh, taking the old one off and putting this one on and there was a substantial weight difference between the two. The old one was quite light. And you'll notice that those pulleys are both, um, they're a little bit different in size, but they're stepped in the same orientation. Um, I did that so that I could get the correct size belt on there. And I think I've got the right combination. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just gonna flop that down just for safety. Okay, so now I've got the machine on. I just turn that switch there to the on position. And then I basically just take my rotary dial here and start rot rotating it. And you can see that I've got a, a very, very slow rotation to that. And uh, I'm trying to hold my camera still here. And then as I rotate this, let's see if I can get back a little further rotate this a little more and more and more and it actually has got really good speed to it and it's a fairly heavy duty motor it takes 10 amps the old one took 12 amps The only thing that I can see that I really need to do is get this dial sort of raised up a little bit. Um, I need to get that dial raised up just a tiny bit so I can get the uh, my handle on the on the dial there because it's really flush. It's it's really flush to that thing. So a couple of little small modifications to it after this, but uh, other than that, it's it's basically done. And I'm quite happy with it.